we have to know basically uh, the ayin is letter that have to do with yourself about yourself it said ben porat yosef ben porat alei ay the son of beauty alei ayin to the eyes it's difficult to understand exactly what what the, this verse said but in the blessing of yosef it says that he is very beautiful and and he have a beautiful eyes Alay's leaves. Eyes. Alay. Alay, it's on top. Ah, okay. Alay of uh, two words. Two words, the eyes. Okay. Right, so. Poret has to do with, it's in Aramaic, like Chen, like Res. It's the same letter of Poter. Poter Halomot, that he gives solution of. of of, of dream and this has to do with the power of the special eyes that Yosef have. Where was this phrase from? This uh, sentence? Where is this from? The blessing that Yaakov bless uh, Yosef. Uh, so it is expression En Hashem Elirav, the eyes of God, En Hashem equal Yosef. And this is what represents, this is what we call today the, the third height. This has to do with Yosef at Sadiq. Third eye. Yeah. In Kabbalah it is a big explanation how the Surat Yesod of, of a, a, a certain face, the Yesod is always Yosef, a, a, go to the to the front, the front is like Mashab and David, and this is what the secret of the front eyes. Yaakov and Esav have to do with eyes as well. Yaakov is the right eyes, Ein Yemin, the Yud, it's like the acronym of right, Esav, Ein Small, the left eyes. So if Yitzchak, that is the father of both, you don't see it because they are fighting one against the number. And yourself have something that really you have from both of them. In one way is continue is part of Yaakov, but in is in reincarnation you have something that came from Asa. It's why the mistake about him and and the thing that we have to give him to the to the nation, to Asa. So this was, so we said that I, it's something very, very basic that has to do with Mashal Ben Yosef. In Shema Israel we have two big letters. We say Shema, it is a big I. Israel Hashem Elokeinu Hashem Echad, and we have a big Dalet. Dalet represents Mashal Ben David, and I represent Mashal Ben Yosef. All right, but this I, uh, Yosef lost, lost, lost this, this, the secret of this iron. This got to Esau, which means to the priest, and the priest have to continue to Mashal ben David. Right? The letter Ayn Dalet is, is Ed. Ed, it's mean uh, 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 witness. Witness. We need always two witness. Alright, so it's mean we need, if we want to be a good judge, we need two point of view on the reality. We need the point of view of Mashar ben David and we need the point of view of Mashar ben Yosef. Uh, uh, a physical point of view, this world, and a and, and metaphysical point of view, what is, you say, what is the third eye. We need always the two, two kinds of witnesses about what, what we have here. What reality? What, what is the reality, really? 
על פי שניים עדים יקום דבר. Like we said, the full potential of revealing of the iron has to do with the priest. How I know this? With the letter iron. If I write each one of these with, first of all, iron, one letter, we make a word from the letter I, this become an I, now we, we make three words from this three letter, this become I, you, no. This is like the full potential of the reveal, all the potential of the letter I, equal Aharon, the big priest. So we see that Aharon is the secret of development of revealing the full potential of the letter I of Yosef. Uh, it is another secret about this number, that this number makes a connection, it's a number that's supposed to do connection, because Aaron is a snake and the snake, the sun, is always between father and mother, like the Levi, He was called Levi because now my husband will, will go with me. Apami Lave is she a lie, like Leah said when she gave him the name Levi. Apami Lave, he will go with me. It means the Levi makes the, 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 the connection, the snake makes the connection, if it is a good snake, he makes the connection between. Adam and Eve, if, he, if it's a bad snake, he makes a separation, right? So this number of Ein, now we're talking about the priest, have to do with the connection between the two secret names of Mashiach that are Esav and Yeshu. That the full name of Yeshua contains these two concepts. This is 376, this is 360. Now, how 256, what is the full potential of the iron? The iron is 256, what is 16 square? The iron is a 16 letter, this is 16 square. How this number make connection between these two numbers? It is a principle in Kabbalah that call the whole and the half. Shalem vechetzi. Shalem the whole. With the acronym, the last letter and the first letter of these two words make the word Mashiach. Ma Shiach, the two middle letter equal 120 what equal Eliyahu Anavi. So this is the concept of Mashiach, this idea of Shalem and Af. It's, mean, it's like concept of male and female. Let's say that I have Adam and I have Chava. Adam equal 45 and Chava equal 19. For them to become one and half, I need another number. This will be the number seven. I add seven to 45, I get 52. I add seven to 19, I get 26. 26, what is the name of God, and two times the name of God, this, this makes them one and half. It means the seven here is a snake that makes the connection between Adam and Chava. So the same thing with Esav, what is 476 that represents the body, and Yeshu, that is 416 that represents the soul. 
this minus, now I do minus, sometimes it's plus, sometimes it's minus, but always it is a number that will make them one and a half. 256 equal 120 minus 256 equal 60. So they are now one and a half. Right, so this was another thing that has to do with the letter he, the letter I. The idea of what really is a snake, what is represent. In one way represent one side of these two, what is the evil side. In another way represent the middle, the middle that make connection between the male and the female. All right?